Now we get to the issue of the Dabba. And the Dabba is mentioned in the Quran. The Dabba, the beast, is mentioned in the Quran. Surah Namal, verse 82. وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَّةً مِّنَ الْأَرْضِ تُكَلِّمُهُمْ أَنَّ النَّاسَ كَانُوا بِآيَتِنَا لَا يُقِنُونَ this is in the Quran, Dabba. Once the command has been given, which means once judgment is khalas, that's it, too late now. Once the motion has been set in, that that's it, end is coming, the end is near. فَإِذَا وَقَ الْقَوْرُ عَلَيْهِمْ Is that فَإِذَا or إِذَا حَتَّى وَإِذَا وَإِذَا وَقَ الْقَوْرُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَّةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ We shall bring out for them دَابَّةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ A beast from this earth. The beast will speak to them and it will say, People would not believe in our science, it's too late. Now we told you to believe, you didn't, you did not believe. And our Prophet said, Hadith is a Sahih Muslim. Three are the things when they appear, there is no fa'ida in a person accepting Iman if they hadn't accepted it before this. Number one, the rising of the sun from the west. Number two, the Dajjal. And number three, the beast of the earth. And this is a hadith that has caused a little bit of commentary controversy because Dajjal, can you not accept after the Dajjal comes? That's a bit of a controversy. And some ulama have said, maybe this is, you know, so anyway, that's it. But the point is, these two are explicitly mentioned. The rising of the sun from the west and the Dabbatul Ard, the beast of the earth. When these two happen, then there is no repentance. And if a person has not accepted Iman, end of story. Now, what is this Dabba and what are the details? Jayid. The Quran has only this one verse. The hadith, there is a lot of apocryphal hadith hadith that are found in the very obscure works that are not mainstream as for the famous six books of hadith the only authentic hadith mention dabba and that's it no adjective no description it just mentions the beast of the earth there is a hadith in Tirmidhi that Tirmidhi himself says is weak. It is a weak hadith without any ikhtilaf. You look it up, the Islam is obvious. There's a person in there. Clearly it is weak. But it is in Tirmidhi. And it is not an authentic hadith. But it, 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 the hadith says that the Dabba shall have with it the Asa Musa, the staff of Moses, and the Khatim Sulaiman, and the ring of Sulaiman. Right? So it says that this Dabba in one hand will carry the staff and the other hand a ring however this seems to be coming from judeo-christian sources where the beast will have the staff and the ring this is and the hadith is is, is weak or very weak to be more precise and even though it's in tirmidhi but tirmidhi himself says that this hadith is not uh, authentic in uh Mustad imam ahmed uh in Mustad imam ahmed there is a hadith that has an unknown chain once again it's weak it is not authentic in which it says that the Dabba will mark people with a symbol. The Dabba will stamp and stamp people with Iman and Kufr, who's a Muslim, who's a Kafir. And this hadith, firstly, is not authentic. Secondly, it is problematic in terms of its content. It says the Dabba will stamp people with Mu'min and Kafir. But when is the Dabba coming? There are no Mu'mins left in earth. So even from a content-wise, it doesn't make any sense. The Isnad is weak anyway. It's Muslim Imam Ahmed is a weak chain. So even from a content point of view, by the time the Dabba comes, the Quran, where is it? The Kalima, where is it? Allah, Allah is not being mentioned on earth. We already talked about that, right? That generation will come where there is no actual Quran left. So the Dabba will come at a time when it's the last day. Literally, it, it's the last day on existence. The Dabba will come out. And that is too late, obviously, at that point in time for anybody to uh, uh, accept. Now, Allah knows best, but in my humble opinion, uh, we don't have any information about the Dabba. So we leave it at is it. It is a Dabba. What does it look like? You know, what it has, the Quran does not mention. The Hadith is not authentic. It is one of the uh, signs of the last day. And that's all that we know. Now, all of us living in this land have heard of the beast. We know the beast. 
unfortunately not through the Quran and uh, the, the whatnot. We know it from Christian folklore because it is something that is common in Christian folklore. The beast is of course believed in by many strands of Christianity and that is because the book of Revelations mentions the beast. In fact, the book of Revelations mentions two beasts, the beast of the water and the beast of the earth. And this is interesting because the title is the beast of the land. And in the Quran, Dabata min al ard. It's very similar. The beast from the land, Dabata min al ard. And if you, for the advanced students, those are interested, Revelation 16:2 and Revelations 19:20. If you want to look it up, 16:2 and 19:20, it marks the issue of the beast. And uh, the book of Revelations also mentions that uh, the enigmatic number is. 666 that will come with the beast we have no, no such thing as 666 that's only found in judeo-christian literature and i'm just narrating it to you fyi say we do not believe in this uh, in numerology anyway we do not believe in the whole issue of, of numbers and we also don't believe in 786 by the way as well guys sorry to burst your bubble but no 786 doesn't carry any weight you either write bismillah rahman rahim or you don't write anything no need to write 786 at the top that doesn't bring the barakah it does not bring the barakah that you want to bring. And so it should, there's no point in doing that. I'm not saying it's haram kufur. I'm simply saying it means nothing. You might as well write one, two, three, or two, seven, six, whatever you want to do. It doesn't mean anything. There's no point in doing that. Either you write it or you don't write it. Anyway, that was a tangent. Let's get that. What were we saying? The dabba. So the dabba has no explicit information. We let it as it is. The Quran mentions it. The Sunnah mentions it. There's no description about it. What does appear to be the case, the sun rising and the dabba seem to occur within 24 hours. And it is essentially the last of the 10 signs before the trumpet will be blown. Is that clear? That's what it looks like to me. The very last day. It looks like from the ahadith that when the sun rises from the west, the dabba will come out in two, three hours because that's after Fajr Salah, the duha time, duha time, and the trumpet will be blown on that same day, later on someday. That's what it looks like. It doesn't say so, but that's what seems to be the case and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.